come back here a second day. The reason being was yesterday we had our equipment at the equator, south of the equator, north of the equator, but we couldn't get the water to spin consistently one way or the other. So we've come back today with a different bowl. It looks the same, but it's got a smaller hole. We use a paddle here to put in the middle to stop the water. We got this little table, so everything's very much nicer than it was yesterday. But again, we can't be consistent with the results. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go more north of the equator, maybe, you know, almost a kilometer or half a kilometer. We're also gonna go south of the equator because I think the effect is gonna be stronger. While it is true in the Northern Hemisphere, any water going down a drain will go clockwise, and in the south it'll go counterclockwise, we believe you've gotta be farther away from the equator to see that effect. And unfortunately, those videos you see on YouTube, there's, it's true what they're doing, but we believe that they're actually helping it out in some way. The people here at the museum did disclose to us that they were helping the water. The fellow in Uganda, I believe because of the way he's got the lines painted on those basins, one way and the other way, and in the middle, straight, you know, he could have little indentations in there, don't know. All I know is definitely he's helping it. It's true what he's saying, but we're finding the effect is not easy to reproduce right at the equator, just north, just south. So we're gonna go further north, we're gonna go further south. I'll even give you the coordinates and we're gonna try it again there. Okay, so we've gone further north now. It's maybe, oh, I don't know, half a kilometer north and we're at latitude 0032488. So we're north and you can see those two mountains are still in the photo, in the video. And we're gonna try it right here and see if we've got more of an effect. So we have a paddle. This is to stop any motion in the water so that there's no effect of any kind. I'm gonna hold it here for a little bit of time. Okay, I'm not moving anything in any weird way. And I'm gonna lift it up. Okay, I'll just set it here. I'm gonna let the water stabilize a little bit more. Okay, just let it get very, very still. Okay, now I'm gonna take my finger off and let it drain. We're going to see, we'll use this flower to tell us which way the vortex is. Okay, it's going in the wrong way. Okay, so we've gone further north. We're at point zero, 206, 285 north. You can still see the one mountain in the background. We've repeated the experiment many times, but sometimes it goes one way, sometimes the other way, sometimes straight down. So the truth is that we found is the equator, the width is quite wide where the water can go either way. You would have to go several miles north to start seeing the effect where the water will definitely go clockwise. And you would have to go several kilometers or miles south to see a definite pronounced effect where it goes clockwise every time. We spent yesterday doing this. We have spent an hour or two today doing this. This is what we found. So. In the videos you see, uh, especially at the museum here that's right at the equator, they even disclose to us that they help the water a little bit. While it's true, when you're north of the equator, it will go clockwise. And while it's true, when you're south of the equator, the water will go down a drain counterclockwise. You have to be quite a ways away from the equator to see that effect. And that video of Uganda, where they just walk a few feet north and a few feet south, I think the fella is helping the water a little bit. It has something to do with the way he has painted those lines on the basin and even the middle, drawing the line straight down. There's something there that helps the water definitely go clockwise north of the equator or definitely go counterclockwise south of the equator. I think, you know, he's helping the water a little bit. All I know is we've tried to reproduce the effect several, several, several times and we would have to go several kilometers north and south to see the effect happen. We've now driven several miles north of the equator. We could be something like 10 or 15 miles. I know on the GPS it says 0 .0308. So we're quite a ways more north. I'm gonna take my finger out here and just watch which way it circulates. Here we go. And there's no vortex. 
at the moment. The water's going straight down. And you know, at this point, it could go either way. Let's take a look and see. Okay. And see if a vortex forms. I see a vortex forming. It looks like it's going the wrong way. Yes, it still thinks that we're south of the equator. So in reality, in reality, this band is quite a wide band where water could circulate down either way. And we don't have the time while I'm on this trip, but we probably have to go something like 50 miles north of the equator and then 50 miles south of the equator to see the real effect.